Soy. The last video was really helpful. I think my Skyrim graphics have improved a lot. By the way. At some point, it seems like my Skyrim's frames are too low and the stuttering is too much. I want to fix this. Soy. Please. Help me. Your Skyrim is so slow that now your Skyrim is dependent on a ventilator? And you're looking for a mod that can boost your frames but also solve stuttering? Don't worry. Today's video has prepared a mod that can increase your frames and minimize stuttering. This video will definitely help players suffering from low frame rate and stuttering issues. So please do not leave halfway and watch until the end. So let's get started. The first mod to introduce is the Recursion Monitor. Unlike other programming languages, there is no such thing as Stack Overflow in Papyrus. Because of this, it raises an error to stop calling recursively infinitely, and creates a much worse kind of infinite loop. Although Papyrus can technically handle a function calling itself one thousands to hundreds of thousands of times by its underlying implementation, it comes at the cost of your frame rate. Eventually, this will create broken papyrus scripts that get stuck in recursive monitor recursion, which will degrade your Skyrim frames. By the way, recursion monitor detects broken papyrus scripts stuck in recursion and prevents huge frame rate lag. To break the recursion, this mod hooks right before the initial check that checks if the stack is valid, the function call query is valid and the function call info returns a valid result. This mod then solves this problem by using the principle of commanding a function to be entered which prevents loops and errors, instead of a recursion breaking log reporting that function call information cannot be obtained. Function handling like this is amazing and groundbreaking never seen before and recursion monitor will do a great job in improving your Skyrim frame rate and eliminating stutter. The second mode to introduce is FSMP. FSMP mod is a SKSE plugin allowing advanced physics to be applied to actors via XML configuration files. This mod massively improves performance over the original HDTSMP, and replaces it totally. FSMP is a great mode to optimize any HDTSMP applied object. Therefore, FSMP has a higher frame rate effect the more you use HDTSMP. In particular, if your character uses too many physical effects such as physical wigs, physical outfit, equipment and physical bodies, and this results in severe frame drops, FSMP is recommended. The way to check this is to switch between first person and third person and check the difference in frames. If there is a large frame gap between first and third person, it means that the frame drop is severe due to your character. In this case, you need to optimize your character, and since one of the optimization factors is likely to be physics, FSMP will be the solution. The third mod I'm going to introduce you to is Papyrus Tweaks NG. Papyrus Tweaks NG mod is collection of fixes, tweaks and performance improvements for Skyrim script engine. The world of Skyrim is made up of many scripts that you cannot see. And the more scripts you use, the more likely you are to run into script errors, and the more script errors you accumulate, the more likely your save files will get corrupted or encounter bugs. This is because Skyrim's engine, developed in 2011, had many problems handling Papyrus. By the way, the Papyrus Tweaks mod improves the way Skyrim's Papyrus engine processing is chronic. First, the Papyrus Tweaks mod increases Skyrim's Papyrus workload from the 100 limited jobs to 500. Second, this mod disables unnecessary error logs, improves base type mismatch logs, and adds a lot of information to mismatch error logs, making it much easier to debug errors. And that's not all. Third, a great mod that drastically improves Skyrim's Papyrus engine handling by disabling error messages caused by removing scripts after mod updates, triples the stack dump timeout, adds a stack dump summary, etc. is.
The fourth mod I'm going to introduce to you is SSC FPS Stabilizer. SSC FPS Stabilizer changes any settings automatically to keep your frame rate at target levels. Also runs console commands at game startup or save load. This mod is an SKSE plugin that keeps your FPS at target level by changing the any settings between predefined 10 levels from your config values. It prevents crazy FPS changes during game which was only caused by looking at some direction. It is especially useful for people that use Ultra Trees with Dindalod. It also has a console command feature which runs a console command automatically when the game is opened or a save is loaded. Note that this is an advanced mod which requires knowledge in game any settings. The fifth mod to introduce is ENBAO Toggler. ENBAO Toggler mod is SKSE plugin which toggles ENBAO depending on location to boost performance. This is done via exclusion lists in ENBAO Toggler JSON. Just add the editor ID of an interior cell or exterior world space to automatically disable ENBAO in those locations. You can toggle this mod's toggling under the General tab in the ENB UI. Saving and loading inside of ENB works as expected, although you will need to load a new cell for the AO state itself to be updated. By default, the Skyrim and Solstheim world spaces are excluded only. So cities and smaller world spaces will still have AO. The sixth mod I will introduce to you is Exterior FPS Boost. Exterior FPS Boost makes extensive use of a native engine feature called Occlusion Culling. Occlusion panes have been strategically hand-placed to enhance performance without affecting visibility and immersion. These panes are placed inside walls, houses, mountains and any big object in general, drastically reducing the draw calls. It is said that the frame rate of a specific area rises by about 5 to 20. And this mod is a mod that changes sectors. It may conflict with mods such as adding buildings, and it is necessary to check whether there is a patch accordingly. Also, viewers need to test it thoroughly beforehand to make sure it works well without crashing into your Skyrim. The seventh mod I will introduce to you is NVIDIA Reflex Support. NVIDIA Reflex Support Mode is an SKSE plugin that can cut rendering latency by more than half while improving performance. NVIDIA Reflex optimizes GPU throughput and latency, reducing latency and improving performance in some instances. This is useful for all GeForce GTX 900 and higher NVIDIA graphics cards. An ENB menu is provided to change and save options in real-time, so you can turn on, off each feature of this mod in real-time in-game. It is a SKSE plugin mod, there is no ESP, and all SE, VR, A players can use it. I will finish all the introductory videos of the modes above. In fact, there are various frame enhancement mods, including Skyrim Upscaler, but I tried to introduce mods that are informative to you, excluding the mods that have been recently introduced as much as possible. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes, and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you next time.